from the Relativity of Paper. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a fun card process that I used to create my design team inspiration for the challenge over at Some More Fun Challenge blog. I hope you'll join us. The stamp set that you're looking at here is a Raisin Boat stamp set. It is clear stamps and you'll find that under the Some More Fun Stamps online store. Now a little bit about the uh, Some More Fun Stamps online store. It's one company that uh, umbrellas several brands. So it has Victorine Originals, uh, Raisin Boat. They also carry some other things on their in their online store so you might want to be sure and check it out. I'll link it for you. The particular set that I'm using here is, it is a Raisin Boat set and it's called Curly Cute. This is a fun set to have because all of the different elements that you see there allow you to create some great cards. So I love creating my own background so this set is great for me and I decided that I wanted to use all of those little elements or as many as I possibly could to create a fun background for a happy birthday card. So to get us started, I have a piece of 110 pound Nina cardstock. I have a stamp positioning tool, which you don't have to have, but I use because I like to repeat stamps. Okay, so I'm going to be using Distress Oxide inks, and I'm using Picked Raspberry, Peacock Feathers, uh, Walnut Stain, and Antique Linen. And those are the colors of the mood board that you saw earlier in the video. And I really do hope you guys will come over and check it out. It's a lot of fun, the mood boards are. So I'm gonna start with this fun little stamp here in the center because it's a solid stamp. And then I'm just gonna work my way around and out from that stamp. And I'm gonna fast forward through this part because it's really just a matter of you picking what stamp you want to lay down next and what colors you want to play with next. So I'm going to fast forward while I stamp this whole card and let you watch it. So I wanted to slow down a little bit here for you and talk to you about the little squiggly line I'm getting ready to stamp. So when I'm using a little stamp like this that doesn't have a lot of detail, it's just really a line, a couple of dots or whatever, um, I'll just grab my small acrylic block and make fast work with it because if I were to sit and do this with the stamp positioning tool, I would be there for a while going back and forth, rearranging that little stamp um, every time to stamp it. So yeah, just do the small little stamps with your detail, with your acrylic block. You're actually going to see me using the acrylic block quite a bit on this and you know, as long as you, once you lay the stamp, the ink stamp down to the paper and let it stay there for a few seconds so it gives that ink time to transfer to the paper, you shouldn't have any issues.
here you'll see our finished stamped panel and there are the spots that I told you weren't perfect and I'm showing you where we're going to put our banner. So that's the next steps we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and uh, grab our card base which I'm using a four and a quarter by five and a half inch top fold card base. It's 110 pound Nina cardstock. I'm using some craft um, cardstock to create a mat to go behind our stamped panel and to create our, create our banner so that we can stamp our happy birthday sentiment and heat set that with clear embossing powder like you see I'm doing there. Then we're just going to go ahead and start assembling our card um, which I actually use some 3D mounting foam behind the banner sentiment. I use some fun foam behind our stamped panel and I use fun foam that has adhesive on one side already. I have never had any issues with it um, not sticking or you know being damaged during the mailing process. So I say if you can grab some that already has some adhesive on the back of it, it saves you a little bit of your adhesive and go for it. That's what I do. You'll see here, just cut it down to size. I've, I even use colored stuff behind mine. It doesn't show through. The cardstock I use is heavy enough that you don't see the color. So you're going to see me finish this up by adding the banner and covering up that area where I said we're going to have a little smoke and mirrors going on there and here it is. See now you can't even tell that that was that way. Now you can use some Nouveau drops if you have them. I use enamel dots just because it's what I have and I'm going to lay down three pink enamel dots and then I'm going to lay down three turquoise enamel dots and that finishes it up and so you'll see how easy this card is. Thank you.